Welcome out to Weird Wednesday, everybody. This is Used Toy, or John House, here with uh, with my partner in crime, Daryl House, or Suburban Hobo. How you doing, Daryl? Ah, uh, Chad, I'm free as a breeze today. I got no pants on. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> well, it's not like we can tell. I want uh, to... Uh, I want to send a special welcome to everybody in, in the greater Middletown area because uh, tonight starts the Broad Street Bash where, you, where you, yours truly will be performing along with the uh, Rick House and the rest of the H3K band. Ooh, rock and roll hoochie coo. Absolutely. It's, it's a great, it's a very festive time. I love it. Well, we are going to kick things off today. I don't have a good picture of this, but uh, Huffington Post and YouTube have very good videos of this. So go find the video. A, uh, a woman in Czechoslovakia, or I, I guess now it's the Czech Republic, drinking a beer through her ear. Uh, uh, apparently this is a dangerous stunt, so don't try this at home. But, uh, but you can check out the video. It is... It's really pretty odd, and uh, the medical people say, you know, don't do this, it's dangerous, you know, and, and it reminds me of like the alcohol enemas earlier in the year. You know, <laughs> I, I love beer, but really, if if you're going to drink a beer, just drink a beer with, with your mouth. You don't have to like prove any kind of superhuman feats. Well, you know, Chad, our baloney brain followers are aware that I've been having an issue with my hearing lately. And last week, my ear, nose, and throat specialist injected steroids straight into my ear. And shortly after, I could taste it down here because you could pour it in your ear and it drains down. I mean, that would actually work, although I'm not sure the taste buds are as good going into this week. You get a little ear wax in your shaneling. Well, well, she's got a, uh, a cup of beer with a straw and it puts the straw in her ear and then starts uh, kind of wincing as she drinks the whole beer through her ear. Oh my God. Well, John, you know, there are, there are absolutely crazy, crazy stories this week. You heard about the lady who got thrown off the plane? I did. I've got that one myself. I know that because she's singing Whitney Houston. <laughs> yeah, you know, a, a, uh, they made an emergency stop to to kick her off, but all I could think of was you know an emergency stop for for that song. I can think of a lot more irritating songs that she. <laughs> we'll always love you. I, I can think of a lot more irritating songs though. Imagine being stuck on a plane with somebody singing. I Henry it I am Henry it I am I am Imagine. I'm leaving on a jet plane don't know when I'll be back again Go ahead and hate your neighbor go uh, ahead uh, and cheat a friend Imagine okay, that for then. 8 hours you may have a winner right there, but I'm a big old Chad Airliner. Don't carry me too far away. I, I, crazy, crazy story, but they threw her off. Where, where did they take her? Some a Kansas City airport. They stopped her. They said that she was uh, uh, interfering with the flight crew. They had a federal air marshal take her off the plane in handcuffs because she was singing. And I will always love you. Well, I, I will remind you, there, there is also good video on YouTube of, of this incident. So if you want to uh, if you want to check that out, check it out. Too funny. I just, I, I, oh, it, it's got to be a great story if we both hit on it, you know, I love that. But, John, remember a couple of weeks ago you had the story about the guy and his son walking naked down the highway? <laughs> is Is that wrong? Well, I, obviously not, because I have a story here today about these ladies up in uh, in North Carolina, and the Lord actually told them to do this. The story goes... <laughs> okay. It's not like the devil made me do it. The Lord said, police in North Carolina said two women taking a nude walk with two young children told officers that the Lord told them to take a naked stroll. Real quick here, um, Charlotte Mecklenburg police said there were traffic delays when motorists slowed to gawk at a woman in her 20s 
who is taking a nude walk in Charlotte with her 40-something mother, her toddler, and her newborn. And, and the cop says, not freshly born baby naked. This is Adam and Eve stuff. Not even a <laughs> lawyer. Clock. I want to meet this police captain. He's funny. But the police told the officers, the Lord told them to get naked and walk down the street. They were mentally evaluated at Presbyterian Matthews Church, so they were okay. They just didn't have any clothes. <laughs> Love that. And, and you know what? The Lord has been extremely busy. Because in Miami, that would be Miami, Florida, there is an election this coming Tuesday uh, for a couple of council members and for the new mayor of Miami. And Anna Pierre is running for mayor, and she has a she, – she actually complained in a previous election that, that uh, voodoo curses were being used against her. Um, right, and that's a, a pretty common defense. Well, she is saying that she is endorsed by Jesus Christ. She has a flyer out. I'm going to send you that flyer, and we can we can do this. She said that Jesus came to her in a dream. I had a revelation when I was going to give up this race. I had a dream. I know what I saw, she said Monday. A figure I can't explain told me, don't be afraid. I am your friend. I am walking by your side. You are not alone. And I feel it was from heaven. It was an endorsement by Jesus. Well, you know, since she couldn't really see the face, I, what if it's uh, from the dark side? Say hallelujah. You, you know, since um, since I don't really have that much uh, faith in in our, our current uh, government bodies, you know, I'm, I'm not sure who's getting involved with this. And I... <laughs> I Henry it I am Henry it I am. All right. Well, uh, I've got a, another Florida story. Uh, a Florida bus driver was busted for allegedly forcing two teenage female students to fight in her backyard. The uh, it started on the bus. The students were arguing, and the school bus driver said, "Well, you know, you guys just need to fight." So she takes the whole busload of students to her house gets uh, Vaseline to put on the girls' faces so that they, uh, you know, they're all ready, and and has them fight. And uh, after that, gets all the students, you know, somebody, of course, taped it, which gets the, uh, uh, the yeah. But uh, the uh, gets all the students back on the bus after the fight, and then takes everybody home. Well, I guess, believe it or not, that's not really okay for bus drivers to do. So uh, the bus driver in Lakeland, Florida, is in some serious, uh, some serious uh, hot water. In the clearing stands a boxer and a fighter by his trade, and he carries the reminder of every glove that's laid him down. Or oh, cut to me till he cried out in anger at my pain. I, I am leaving. leaving. I See, am now leaving. I, could, I could take that song for four hours. Yeah. I don't even know I could take that for four hours. I, I, Paul Simon is a god, you know. I, I think Paul Simon actually told that lady to take her clothes off and walk down the road. Well, because, I, if, 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 Clapton, they're gods. if uh if the the mayor candidate was endorsed by uh by Paul Simon, then she'd have my vote. And I, <laughs> that's all we have this this weird Wednesday. We hope you will come back and see us and remember that we will always love you. <laughs> see you next week.